We are assuming that IQ scores for adults in America are normally distributed with a standard deviation of 15 and a mean of 100. So right away we are given that sigma is equal to 15 and mu is equal to 100. We are looking at a sample of 50 American adults and we want to know the probability that their IQ scores total to less than 4800. When we're dealing with 50 adults, our sample size n is equal to 50. And let's just let t represent the total. We want to know the probability that their total, if we added up all their IQ scores, that that would be less than 4,800. We can convert the total into an average. We have a total of 4,800 for 50 people. So this would be the probability that their mean, or average, that we'll call x bar, would be less than 4,800 over 50. And so this gives us the probability that the average is less than 96. Now from here we need to change this to a z so that we can use our table, our normal table, to find our probability. We can change x bar into a z by subtracting its mean, which is mu, and dividing by its standard deviation, which for a sample is sigma over the square root of the n. So we get the probability if we subtract the mean of 100 and divide by sigma over square root of n. That's going to turn to a z. And then we have 96 minus 100 over 15 over square root of 50. So we have the probability that z is less than. This expression is just a number. And if you calculate it, what you'll get is negative 1.89. We have this set up in less than. And that is what our table gives us. So we will go look for negative 1.89 in our normal table. We look for negative 1.8 on the side, and we'll use the 0 0.09 column on the top. So that is our last column here. And so when we go to negative 1.8 on the side, we get this probability of 0 0.0294. So we find that the probability that the total IQ score for the 50 people, the probability that that's less than 4,800 is 0 0.0294.